wishing you all a very happy new year. May all your dreams come true this year and may you live a happy and healthy life. In today's tutorial, we're going to make all these beautiful, decorative, amazing, scented gel wax candle. Each candle is a different type and have different elements of decoration. So friends, do watch the complete tutorial to win a giveaway gift and do subscribe to Creative Art for more creative art tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form. Now let's check out all the materials, anything and everything that we can use to make a beautiful gel candle. First and the most important, we are going to need some gel wax. And here I have got 1 kg pack of gel wax from Little Birdie. It was on 30% discount. I thought of buying half kg but calculating 30% on 1 kg pack was much more profitable. So I bought 1 kg pack. So let's make the most use of it because this time we are going to make the most beautiful scented gel wax candles. And for that I have got all different scents that they have in this store from chocolate vanilla pineapple watermelon lavender you can pick any of your favorite but my favorites in perfumes for candles are always a lavender jasmine I like to use orange for the spicy orange candles then vanilla it's the most most commonly used fragrance for candles and generally people prefer the soft and sweet scent of vanilla then there is one more scent of I think apple tea that I liked and I have used in my previous candles they were also good so these are the different scents that I prefer to use but this time I have bought just every different scent because everything was available on online store next are the different glass containers so in itsy bitsy store you get to buy all different shapes and sizes of glass container i bought everything to show you guys this is how they look i also got this small cute glass mug everything i ordered online came in a nice packaging like this and not even a single glass piece was broken so I'm so glad that they deliver you in this kind of nice packaging and you can order it all over India. Look how big this glass piece is and it's packed so nicely. I have also got this kind of big cylindrical glasses because the last time I used and made these beautiful candles, gel candles, they came out really really nice. And this is the bigger size of this one. So I'm also going to make use of this one. Using different shapes and sizes of glass containers give you an advantage and the freedom to create different types of gel wax candle. Making a gel wax candle is really really easy and it's a very simple technique but the difference always lies in decoration part. And decoration is one of the most important parts in making a gel wax candle. You have to use a right materials according to the right size or shape of the container so that your decoration part is showing off more beautifully as well as you are placing the wig right in the center so it is not breaking or sticking to the jar side. The next thing we are going to need is some gel wax dye. So there are two types of dye. One is for normal wax and one is for gel wax dye. So here I have cobalt blue. I also have orange, yellow, green. Different colors of gel wax dye are available. And this time I'm going to make a wig by myself. So here I have bought the bottom for the wig through which you can easily insert a thread which comes in a roll like this one. And I think making a wig by yourself is better than buying a ready-made one because that one gives a very small flame as compared to the big size or the thick size of wig I'm going to use this time. Next are all the decorative things that you can use to make a beautiful gel candle wax and the beauty comes from this decoration itself. The most commonly beautiful and long lasting things that I like to use are seashells and colorful sand. So here I have collection of seashells. I generally separate them according to their colors and I have here a few pink ones, a few brown and pink, a few pure white, black and white few stripes of black and white then I do have these seashells you get different types of seashells online so you can buy any one then I've got few pearls here and some colorful sand I always love to decorate the bottom part of a candle using colorful sand simply called as a rangoli in India 
Then the next decorative mediums that I like to use are glitters. So here I have different shapes and sizes of glitters. This one is fairy sparkle sheer rose color glitters and this one is a fairy dust color. There is definitely difference in size of both the glitters. Fairy dust glitters are very very fine as compared to fairy sparkle. They both are of same brand but there is a little bit difference. When you are adding big size of glitter try to add a very very small amount like a pinch and when you are adding small size of glitters you can add a little more as compared to the bigger one. Next in this we also get heart shaped glitters, star shaped glitters, square glitters. So you can make any choice according to you. You also get small packaging of glitters. There are so many different colors. I got three to four different colors. It's made in India from Little Birdie and this is from the range Craft Essential. Next, I also have metallic microbeads. So you must have seen me use these microbeads in many of my art forms and you can also use the same microbeads in your gel wax decoration. So these were all some artificial decorations. Next are all the natural things that we can use in a gel candle decoration. So for that, First and my favorite are that you can use some spices. So here I have some star flowers, cinnamon, some biryani fool, some cardamom. So these are all the different type of spices that you can use to make a spice candle. They really look very very beautiful. You can also place a slice of dried orange peas. I have shown you to make these beautiful and crispy orange slices for decoration so this can be used in resin art as well as in gel wax candle. Next here I have a few green dry leaves you can use different shapes and sizes of leaf but don't use the leaf that store a lot of water because you have to dry the leaf first it should not contain any any water in it and then only you can use. Next here I have few dry flowers from my bouquet few were sprayed using color so they turned pink few are white and you can also use all different types of dry flower that you use in a resin art. Next are these small dry orchids that I dried myself by book pressing them and a few dry hydrangeas that I got for my resin artwork. Dry slice of oranges, you can also cut out few lemons to get small slices. The most important thing is to dry them till they are crispy and hard. You can see it's quite hard and crispy. You can either put them in sun or you can also put them in oven by the same process as I have shown you in my earlier tutorial. So now friends, all these materials will be listed and linked in the description box below from where you can buy them online. I have bought all these materials online except these natural ones which I have made in my home by naturally sun drying them. So if you want so many variety of things, go for the online store and do use my code which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5 to get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from Etsy bitsy.com so now let's start the tutorial friends first of all let's start by opening the candle shop gel wax from little birdie packaging and in this box i have received one kg of gel wax which was very neatly packed up in two polythenes and then this is the box of gel wax let's open it this is how clean and clear it is you can see it's soft in nature and you can also directly touch it but try to avoid it keeping in open space or open containers you always should pack it up in a closed container like this because any dust particles or small hair will easily get stick on the gel wax so you always have to cover it up in this way now let's begin with cutting the gel wax into small pieces which will be easier for us in melting. Here I'm simply using a knife. You can also gently break it out in this way simply with hand. Each time you're working with gel wax make sure that your surface is clean. Now after cutting the amount of gel wax I need, I am simply dividing these big chunks into small pieces. They will be easy and quick to melt.
Now the gel wax pieces are ready. Now let's start making few wigs and for that I'm going to use one pack of a wig tab metal. There are 10 pieces in this pack and wig making thread. So it also comes in different thickness. According to the thickness it will cost you the roll. This is the roll of I think a 2mm thickness of wig and this is of a 5mm thickness of wig. I'm going to use a 5mm because this one gives a really big flame. You first hold the wig and start by measuring the container you're going to use this wig for. For example, if I want to use it for this big glass, measure the length of the container using this wig and then keep at least one inch extra of the wig and make a cut from this part. Okay. Then hold a wig tab in this way and insert this wig head gently from one side. Spread out the remaining in the bottom but not much, just should be a little bit. And then use a plier, a nose plier or anything you have to squeeze this top metallic part which will secure the wig right in this bottom place. So gently press it in this way. So now the wig won't come out. Now you have a wig ready. In the same way make wig for each container that you are going to use. place these wigs in glass containers and for that I'm going to use Fevicol. Use a little bit of Fevicol right in the bottom of this metal holder and then place the wig exactly in the center. I'm going to use my tweezer to push them and place them exactly in the center and now set them aside to let dry. Do the same for all the glass containers and wig. Apply Fevicol and place it exactly in the center. In the same way I have placed wig exactly in the center of all the glass containers and set them aside to get dry completely till the wig is completely held to the bottom in this way. For a few big size of containers like this one, I have also placed two wigs inside it. And for this size of big container, I have placed one single wig right in the center because I want this candle to take longer time to burn out. Now let's start by making the most easy and simple but beautiful looking gel wax candle. And for that we are just going to need one decorative ingredient and that is these beautiful glitters. So glitters can make absolutely anything beautiful. This time I'm going to select these two beautiful colors of glitters. You can select any glitter that you want. The most commonly and most favorable used glitters are gold, silver, copper, red, snow white, then pink and blue. So there are different colors of glitters available. So now let's melt some gel wax candle and mix some glitters and then pour it into these two containers. Now let's start melting this jelly wax that I have kept ready and for that I'm going to use three different containers. These all three are optional. You can either use an aluminium container like this one or you can also use a steel container. Steel containers get heated up very quick. So if you're a beginner try to prefer an aluminium container like this one. So this is actually an aluminium candle mold from candle shop little birdie and for melting small quantity of gel candle I do like to use these containers and I also use small size of containers for dividing the gel wax for mixing different color pigments or glitters or different fragrances. So first of all I'm going to pour all the gel wax in this container. And to melt this gel wax you can either place this container on gas or just put it in oven on 100 degrees celsius for just 5 to 10 minutes till the wax is completely melted. So now we are going to just melt this wax and then divide it in these two containers. Now after heating the gel wax completely, this is how clean and clear our gel wax will look. So now, first I'm going to pour it in this little container. The wax is still hot. Then the first thing I would like to do is add some glitters. So this time I'm going to use sheer rose glitters. As these glitters are quite big in size, the quantity of glitters should be less. And then let's add 
a nice fragrance to it this is the lavender fragrance I'm going to use each time when you make a candle remember to add just 5 to 10 ml of fragrance not much now hold the container very nicely give it a nice stirring like this now pour the gel wax into the container in this way make sure to fill up the container completely because of the thread there will be some bubbles on the top and that's also a reason that I like to fill up the container completely okay, there's a beautiful fragrance of lavender and background so now to hold the thread right on the place where we want it to be is exactly in the center I like to place this type of thread holder it's very very important that the thread should be exactly in the center now for the next container I'm going to add these fine glitters from craft essential each pack is worth to be 29 to 30 so add a little bit of glitters first this time I'm using red. If you're adding fine glitters, you can add quite amount of glitter in it. Okay, so this is the same container, so I'm going to add the same lavender fragrance. I did want to use tea rose. Do try out tea rose with a red glitter. So now I'm going to mix it very well just by stirring it in this way and then pour it directly. jar completely with the gel wax and then use a paint brush in case there are any bubbles on the side of container we'll try to avoid bubbles making sure that the wig is placed exactly in the center on the top I would like to add a little bit of litters now currently these jars are quite hot so just gently place them aside and let them cool down completely and only then we can remove these wig holders okay now it's been 20 minutes the gel wax is completely cooled down and it has turned back into gel and this is how beautiful shiny and shimmery it looks it was so so easy just mix some glitters and pour and finally this is how beautiful it will look wow i absolutely love both of them so i'm going to start by showing you how to make a beautiful and decorative spice candle and for that we can use dry slices of orange different type of spices like cinnamon sticks these flowers some herbs or even few flowers if you have few colorful flowers you simply have to add one or two gentle slice of orange I think this this looks great I'm going to add this one on one side then I'm also going to add one of this flower few of red hydrangeas and two of these herbs okay so this is how the container will look after we pour some gel wax so I'm going to keep this one aside in the same way I'm going to decorate this small piece okay I also have to add one star flower there one small star flower one stick one cinnamon small slice of orange and few hydrangeas two small pieces of herb so now this is the decoration for a spice candle now after deciding the spices let's melt up some gel wax to pour in it for that let's keep the containers ready for example if I want to pour some gel wax in this container put aside all the contents place a wig holder right in the center Keep the wig holder ready, keep all the contents of the spice candle ready and only then start melting the gel wax. Now the melted gel wax is ready. So let's add some fragrance in it. After adding some fragrance, you can clearly see that fragrance. Give it a nice stirring. So it may mix up with the gel wax. Let's mix completely. Now gently pour it in all the containers one by one. Now 
after pouring the gel one by one we have to insert all the elements be very gentle in doing this step one more piece of herb Now everything is going to release some bubbles which you can see on the top which is because of all these contents that we have added. So you can gently remove them using a small paintbrush. After pouring the gel wax, we will let it cool down completely till the liquid has turned completely into solid. Then cut out the extra wig and then this is how beautiful beautiful spice gel candle you are going to get. Even the clear gel has got some color due to the amazing fragrance we have added in it. And finally, this is how all three of our spice gel candles look. I absolutely love them. Now let's start making the other candle. Now let's make few sea themed gel candles. These are one of the most fascinating and best looking gel candles that I have seen. And for that, first we need to create a base layer. So base layer can be created either by using some natural sand or by using some colorful sand or by using a few colorful stones like these. So this time I'm going to show you all different methods that we can do. So first here I'm going to use some white color sand for the center piece. Fill it up very nicely till you are able to see nice good layer of white sand. Always use a spatula or a palette knife, anything that you can use to adjust the sand. In the same way, I'm going to do one more for a similar container. You see, different shapes of container allows you to make different designs and this is how you can do it. As this is a flat container, a lot of sand will spread all around. And now this also gives you an opportunity to do a lot of decoration part right there. To make it look much more beautiful and sparkling, I'm going to add a few sparkling glitters right in the center. Now I'm going to pick up one by one of these pink tones. You can also use a tweezer if you want. to place this seashell. If you don't have a starfish, you can use a silicone mold like this. Pour some resin in it or some clay or just some hard wax to make a starfish like this. Place all different beautiful seashells you can find. Now I'm finally placing few crystals just here and there. Now this is how beautiful both our containers look. You can clearly see the top view. I won't be moving it right now. I'll show you everything from the side once we pour some gel wax into it. But this is how both our containers look. The next one that we can do is use two different shapes of container which either has a smaller bottom or has a long cylindrical shape like this one. So for this one, I'm going to use colorful sand to decorate it. First, fill the entire bottom layer with white. After pouring some white clear sand, I have mixed a little bit of white sand with the blue sand and a little bit of glitters that I'm going to use in my next layer. Now using a palette knife or a spatula, pour this blue sand in this container. One side. Fill it 
least half of it using blue sand. For this one, just directly pour one layer of blue. And next, on the other side, add the dark blue sand. Now after decorating all three containers using three different colors of sand, add a little bit of similar color glitter. Here I'm using a light blue color glitter. So this was my finishing touch for the base. And now here we have got different seashells to decorate the center. So use anything that you like. I'm going to put one of these. few pearls and now finally this is how the decoration looks from top okay the pearls can freely move but yes this is how i have done it so now friends these were two different types of decoration that we can do for the sea theme or the beach theme gel wax candles so now let's melt some wax and pour it into these beautiful containers I'm adding a little bit of shimmering glitters and tea rose fragrance. Now we will set all these candles aside and let them cool down till the liquid wax completely turns into jelly. Now after 20 minutes, the wax has completely cooled down and this is how beautiful, beautiful all our candles look. The colorful sand that we have added adds such a beauty. The fogginess that you can see right in the center is because of the scent that I added from the top. And that is something that turns your clear gel wax into a foggy wax and it will look like this as if it is a muddy water. But still the bright seashells are still visible from the sides as you can see i'm also going to show you the stop decoration in the end of the tutorial but for now this is how beautiful beautiful all our sea theme gel wax candles look i absolutely love each one of them now let's make the next one now for our next decoration i'm going to use miniatures you can use different types of miniatures that are available this time i'm going to use a small ballerina doll so let's open this back you can also use a fairy or a small house. So this is how cute, tiny and small this ballerina looks. You can easily place it inside as it's quite small. So first let's fill up the base using some white crystal sand. Now I'm going to use some white snowflake glitter and sprinkle it all around. I'm going to place a few seashells. You can place any different type of decoration you want. Either seashells or glitters or anything that you would like to decorate your base with. I'm also going to add a few pearls just because I like them. Now a few crystals. And now finally, I'm going to place this beautiful, beautiful miniature doll right here. Make sure that your doll is standing properly when you're going to pour some gel wax. So you need your ballerina doll to stand like this but finally this is how the decoration is going to look i love the glitters and the crystals we placed in it now let's pour some gel wax candle and then you can directly insert the ballerina after pouring the gel wax candle when it is still hot so i'm going to keep it right here till i heat up the wax 
My next piece is to decorate using some colorful sand. So here I'm using white crystals first. Then a few pink. Okay, we got it right there. And now I'm going to use these beautiful dry flowers and I'm directly going to insert it. First break them into different pieces. Then using a tweezer, place all these beautiful dry flowers in this long long shaped glass container. Now after adding all the dry flowers in this glass, this is how it looks this and this is how beautiful it will look from this side. So now friends, just to make it look much more shimmering, I'm going to add these beautiful pink glitters in this container. Just sprinkle them from top. We don't need a lot, but just from the top so it may fall on flowers and everywhere. So you can clearly see how beautiful and shimmering it looks now. So now friends, it's the right time to pour some gel wax in it. There are a lot of bubbles on the top so we'll let them all come on the top and later on we'll remove it using either a paintbrush or just pour one more layer of hot melted wax so all these bubbles will get popped up easily. Now melt some wax and add in this. Okay. Bring the wig to the center and now let this one get cooled down completely. Let's we'll set this one aside. And now after some time, I'm going to use a small paintbrush and move this bubbles. Okay. And finally, you'll get a very clean and clear top. Just move out the bubbles inside. So now I'm going to let it cool down completely. Now the gel wax is completely cooled down and this is how beautiful beautiful our ballerina looks. You can place the miniature either inside the gel wax candle or you can also decorate it on corners. Both of them look equally beautiful. Just look inside the gel wax candle how beautiful it looks because of the seashells, pearls, glitters, crystals and the ballerina we have placed. And this is how the inside of a gel wax candle would look. Look at all the dry flowers and stones we have placed. It would have equally looked beautiful if we have placed a miniature doll inside it or just a sweet little house. And in the same way you can also decorate the top side using some crystals or some glitters as I have done for this top. And now the sub both the candles look. Now let's make some dual shade of gel candles. These candles look so beautiful just like some cocktail and for this we simply have to use some gel wax dye. So here I have pineapple color, this is orange, I also have got some red. Now for this we have to melt some gel wax and use just teeny tiny little bit of color in it. Make sure that you're using a very teeny tiny amount of gel wax color because they catch up the color really quick and mix it very well this is how beautiful beautiful it looks and then pour it like this now for the next one i'm going to add a little bit of cranberry color gel wax make sure that it is just a little bit Okay, this would be enough. Now this is how this color looks. Add a lot in the bottom. Now let both the pieces get cooled down for at least 20 minutes and then we'll add our next layer. Let's cut some cube pieces of this clean clear wax that we are going to use for making ice cubes. Make sure to make very nice, clean and clear cube shapes. Now both the containers are cooled down completely. So the gel wax is not moving at all. So now this is the step. If you want to add some fragrance, you can add fragrance after melting some gel wax. But for now, I'm going to add 
these gel wax cubes that we made one by one all around make sure that there is enough space add as many cubes as possible mostly near the way now this step is very very important after filling up the wax cube check all the surrounding okay and this time we have to make sure that the gel wax is not very hot while we are pouring on these cubes so i'm going to add a little bit of yellow color in the melted gel wax for this one i'm just going to add few drop of jellies i'm not going to fill it up completely now in the melted gel wax I have just added a little bit of yellow color and I'm going to give it a very nice mix till the dye is completely mixed up in the wax and you can get a nice and clear look. So this step is really really important. Uh, we don't want the gel cubes which are the ice cubes to be melted. So stir the container for quite some time till you think that the jelly or the wax is getting a little cold I'm just experimenting it on this one so now this when you get a thread like this that means it is ready to be poured on our ice cubes so make sure that it's just making a round circular surrounding and then a little bit on the inside the beauty about gel wax is also it dries you can clearly see how beautiful drippings we have got from this side and the gel cubes are also visible it looks so beautiful now after making this ice tea candle let's make this one top a foamy candle and for that use your two fingers and press the ice cube in this way so it will be divided into small small pieces but it's going to look white in a way so it will be a very white jelly kind of substance so this is what we are going to need for the top decoration part squeeze the candle in this way and you'll get that a white foamy substance okay now the topping is ready let's select two nice ice cubes okay this two will do and a small one now again i have melted some gel wax and this is the last layer that we are going to pour in it for this one i'm going to add few toppings now for this one we can start adding the foam from side Finally, on top I have added few ice cubes. Looks fantastic. And now finally, this is how beautiful all three of these candles look. I absolutely adore this one just because of the shading I have got and I was able to make on this jar. And I also love and adore this one. Just look how beautiful the detailing looks. The ice cubes look so so cute as if it's a real one. And this one looks so so adorable. I just tried to make them look like real cocktail glasses and I think I was able to achieve the look. Now after making these five different types of candles, you may observe a little difference in few candles. The first is this beautiful clear candle that you can see here and the next one is a little foggy candle. 
So the fogginess of candle is not because of the gel wax, but it is because of the fragrance that we have added in gel candle. So more amount of fragrance you add in a gel candle will give you more amount of fogginess, which will look like this. So we have got a best solution for this is to decorate the top of the candle so, so that it may also look beautiful from the top as well as delight you with its amazing fragrance. And this is also one of the best way to make it look more attractive and sellable so for this step that I like to do is decorating the top I use a burner like this or you can gently pour one layer of hot gel wax on the top and then I'll gently heat up the top layer in this way and then you can either use a flower or you can also use crystals like these I have done for that jar and on a hot gel wax it will easily get stick. And the next one for the next one what I did here is on the top I have just heated some gel wax and then scrape it out using a tweezer or a palette knife or a spatula anything that will let you create this kind of foamy texture and then I'm going to add a few dry flowers to make this part look much more beautiful I think I should heat it up a little again okay this will be easier for me to place dry flowers. And now finally use a scissor to cut the wig. And now this is how beautiful beautiful all of them look I have done the same just by adding some crystals on the top making different designs is most important and finally this is how beautiful all the top decoration of gel wax candles look you can make as many as different designs you want on all the different gel wax this step is absolutely not a compulsion it is just an extra step in case your gel wax gets foggy like this one but you still want it to look beautiful and sellable so this is a trick that you can make for your gel wax candles and now finally this is how beautiful beautiful all our decorative scented gel wax candles look now my entire room is filled with aroma just by making this gel wax candles and I'm so so excited to light them and gift them in different occasions. So friends do subscribe to creative art to watch more creative art tutorials and do tell me in the comments below how many different types of candle did I show you in this tutorial and also let me know which is your favorite candle to win a giveaway gift this month from creative art. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so please subscribe to creative art share and like this tutorial to help the creative art family grow more. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.